We are now the world's third fattest nation and officially one of the laziest. Kia ora, I'm Buck Shelford. We have an issue with men's health in this country. And it's killing us. Brothers, it's got to stop. I know what it's like. I've been there. I've been the fat guy, the guy who got cancer. Kua mumona, kua mawiwi. But I'm not that guy anymore, and you don't have to be either. <laughs> That's what this is all about. Te kou wiki, te kou tāne, te kou au hauora kino, hei takuhiri. Toro te takuta, see your doctor. Kia tika te kai, eat better. Paka pakaritia to tinana. Get fit and save your life. Because it's not just about you. It's about your partner, your whānau, and your mukapuna. It's time to man up and face your death threat. Once upon a time, Cody Stock was the fittest out of all his mates, but a dislocated knee put pay to his fitness, his job, and even his flat, meaning he and his family are now all bunking down at his stepfather's place. I have to put the kids to sleep on the couch most of the time because there's no room in the bedroom, pretty much. Depressed and weighing in at 200 kilograms, kwa mau tāna iro, he's stuck in a rut, trying to stay fit, engari kaore i te eke, but failing. But Cody's friend Were has stepped up to help his mate through it. Tautoko i tāna hoa. Yeah, no, just worried about the bro. He's sort of starting to get into fitness now. But uh, I'm just worried he might, like, you know, just put a stop on things and just don't feel like doing anything. Yeah, just worried if he doesn't sort out his act, he might uh, end up like some of my other Māori uncles and aunties that are like, you know, go go away a little bit earlier than they should. Yeah, so yeah, just need um, need some help to get the bro in there, get his A into G. I tono karere afina, where he sent an SOS call to Buck Shelford to see if he can apply the same simple, proven program he's given to others to Cody. Oh. Guess what, G? Oh. Bro, I got a special guest for you. Oh, oh man, Jay. the legend himself. Zinzan, bro. Got it. Oh, Zinzan, you make it. Cody, how are you, boy? Good, good, thank you. What is it, G? Brother's coming. Sorry. What's up, brother? Sorry. It's right. not Zinzan, eh? No, bro. Get it, bro. Cuz he. Not today. <laughs> you brought back the buck. <laughs> solid, solid. I'm here today because. Uh, Wede gave me a call to try and get you motivated to get back into the sport and all those sorts of things. Yep. So he wants me to come and help motivate you and, you, and get you, you going. You the boot on the end of the foot, eh? Right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to come on board your case and give you a hand? Uh, yes, please. That'll yeah. be honour. Yep. But I think it's going to be hard yards. That's all right. You have to do it. All, all Wede and I are going to do is support you in it. That's fine. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. Didn't think I was enough. Bro, brother, you're mean, bro. And uh, bro, my motivation is like, you know, so far, but we have to bring in the big guns, cuz. Yeah. Don't complain when I surpass you, brother. Bro, no chance to do it. I got big bad buck on my side <laughs> now, boy. Geez, you sound like my nephews. <laughs> buck has caught Cody on a good day. The sun is shining. E fiti mai anna tera. But it's not always like this. Cody explains now Piro Piro Pauri, the black moods he suffered, all seem to stem from the knee injury he sustained playing basketball. It was a long recovery and we had just moved back in here because I couldn't go to work and stuff like that, so I ended up losing my job. So I had no money, we couldn't really move around much, racking up debt for things I didn't need. Partner was gone during the day, so it's a little black hole for quite a while. Nothing really. Sit there, play video games. Kota mea tua tai ki taku hōtaka, ka haere ki a takuta Lance O'Sullivan. He takuta haora tāne. I whakawhiwhi e ia ki te tohu whakaihuaka o Aotearoa. Oh, kia ora, guys. So tell me what's wrong with your knee. Ah, uh, pretty much all it takes is a little jolt, like yeah. a little pothole or yeah. something, and it jars really bad. Yeah. And sometimes when it jars, I can actually feel it slip. Yeah. Yeah, and it crunches a lot. Right. So it just... Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you hear that? Yeah, I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any other health problems you wanted to talk about? Um, there was the depression side of things. Yeah. But I think most of it came from 
being inactive and not being able to do things. Have you ever had any treatment for that, like for no, depression? I've, I've never really spoken about it, to be honest. No. Yeah. Lance understands depression is as much a death threat as Cody's obesity. The two issues linked are an almost insurmountable problem. Having a dislocated knee is a pretty big injury, eh? Yeah, I was told that too. I can feel all that grinding, eh? Yeah, and sometimes the grinding mm. actually is as painful. But as Lance takes Cody's blood pressure, he learns he's been using the dietary supplement Detonate. Lance doesn't recommend it for people like Cody. I don't have a lot of faith in those sort of things. Um, and I think there's better ways we can help you with your weight than, say, those sort of things. Yep. Young men like Cody tend to give their whole order manawa, heart health, a very low priority, assuming time is on their side. What I'm going to do is a little bit of a, uh, it's a heart test, and so we're trying to find out will Cody develop problems with his heart in the future, 10, 20, 30 years' time. It's Katino Ohoreri are Cody, but Cody's in for a shock as Lance reveals his actual heart age is much older than his 29 years. Cody's stock is in a world of trouble after a knee injury forced him, ki te tāpu i āna mahi kore kore, to park his previously active lifestyle, he stopped exercising and started taking dietary supplements. With high blood pressure and untreated depression to contend with, Dr Lance O'Sullivan is reluctant to tell 29-year-old Cody his heart age. Even though you're 29, yep. it actually picks your heart as being sort of a 40-year-old. So what it does show us is if, if we don't get on top of a few things in the next few years, you will end up having problems at a young age with your heart. If I don't do something now, mm. then, you know, it's going to be with me for the rest of my life. It wouldn't be hard for depression to grab you by the arms and pull you back down, I guess. Yeah. Kia ora, bro. Nice Kia to meet you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again, bro. Ready? Me oh, too. Cheer, my Thank you, brother. Bye bye. bye. Mena e hakorea ana to hanga. Kaua e ruku tōtika tonu ki tētahi hōtaka whakaangungu tino ua ua. Nō reira kei te tūkuna ia, kia aro taking ia e takuta Grant Schofield. He nui te tautoko, engare me para ahau e tōku ake huarahi. I had to learn about myself. Knowledge is good. Anything that will help me lose weight and maintain a better lifestyle. OK, let's start the test. You ready, Cody? Roger. As Cody's test gets underway, his VO2 oxygen consumption measurement speaks volumes about why Cody struggled with his weight since his teens. One of the reasons he has difficulty staying in shape is that he's burning sugars, not fats, at virtually every level of exercise, whereas we should be burning fats at a much lower level. And I think his diet and diet history has got a lot to do with that. Awesome. Well done. So I think there's some good news, and there's also some stuff you can improve. If you were at normal weight, you'd be in about the 50th percentile, and, and so in, in, about halfway on people relative to your age on fitness. Yep. When we take into account your weight, it puts you down in the bottom 1%. The one thing that was really noticeable, even at very, very easy walking, you'll be burning a sort of mixture of a little bit of fat um, and quite a lot of carbs. So that's the switch we have to make with the diet, is that the, the sugars and the simple carbs, the breads, they tell your body to start storing away fat. Um, so we've got to get that signal gone. Yeah. It's good to know that I have a direction to, to head towards. Now, I'm not so much sure about the breads, we're sort of my fault, but if I need a lay off it, then I need a lay off it. Me aroa hau ki a hau anō. Two days later, kua tae mo ata mai a Buck. Buck has come in to meet Grant and Lance early before Cody turns up to start work on his fitness plan. Cody's a young guy. He's got some problems with his knee, and we know that if he gets his weight under control, his knee's going to be a lot better. This fitness, I think, is a key part of his life, and, and while he's suffered from depression, I think that fitness and, and keeping fit's going to be a key part of keeping that at bay. But he uh, got a few uh, stress-related problems as well yeah, yeah. within his work and yeah. home life and things like that. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe get him, in, get him in the gym and get him away from everything yeah. for a while can yeah. actually de-stress him as well. But Cody, who was meant to be here this morning, is nowhere to be found. Where are you, brother? Kei te awangawanga te tima. The team is concerned he's hit a wall after his test results and gone to ground. Got it, Cody! How are you, mate? 
Long time no see. I'm in trouble already. So, I've been trying to get hold of you. You haven't been answering my calls. What's what's yep. the problem? Uh, I lost my cell phone. That's pretty lame, brother. <laughs> All right, I've heard some, <laughs> some excuses, but that's pretty lame. Oh, uh, that's the truth. Ko te rongo pai, but the good news is Cody's been busy after all. So what have you been up to physically over the last few weeks? A lot of fitness and cardio in there. So that's been bruising and battering the body. You have to prove it, mate, because we're off to the gym now. To go and get your kit, we're heading down there, all right? Looks like Cody's plans to take the walk around will have to be put on ice for today. At the gym, Kota Buck Mahi Hekite. Buck's going to find out how much work Cody's actually been putting in. A moment of truth. Big way in. <laughs> now let's go. Step up there, Cody. Let's see the damage. The truth. Oh, Kate the Pie, that's pretty good, mate. 154.4. So you've basically lost, you've lost uh, over 10 kilos. That's awesome. So while we're here at the gym, we might as well have a bit of a workout anyway. Yep. See what enough. you've been doing? Yep. Okay, good. Cool. Let's go. 10 kilos in a few weeks, he kaupapa he whakanui is cause for celebration. As they begin a routine, Buck explains to Cody how the gym can become his tūranga waiwai. Once they get up to it, just maintain that rhythm. It's good. Te ua ua hoki o te mahi ni. 3.50. Buck knows after a big workout, kahia kai te tangata, a man wants to eat, and not necessarily carrots. So nutritionist Hedini Marshall is coming round to Cody's. Kia kitia he ahatana e kaine to see what he's eating. Kia ora. Kia ora. I'm Hedini. Hedini. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Come in. I've been juicing for about three to four months now, and I've trimmed off a little bit of wheat, but I just want to see where we can go from here. Okay, so with the juicing, it can be like a short term. Um, solution in regards to making sure that you're having regular meals but long term you want to look at something that's more sustainable and more based around whole foods. Mm -hmm. So looking at your dietary record yep. I can see that there's not a lot of meat in here so are you, yep. are you vegetarian Cody? Uh, I'm not a vegetarian but I thought um, I'd take this approach. Do you think you could replace one juice with a, with a whole meal? Ten juices a day is quite a bit. Mm. Yeah, need to get something you can need to replace the energies and carbs that I've lost. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. I think you've got a great future. <laughs> Thank you. Still heaps of hard work to go there. Yeah. yeah. Hedini's endorsement is a great boost for Cody's self-esteem. One week later, Buck is taking Cody to Ascot Hospital. An MRI scan of his knee will hopefully cast some light on Kakitia Mehemea Kapayakiai, whether it can be improved, as it's starting to hold him back in the gym. How are you feeling? Still nervous, to be honest. Legs are shaking. We haven't even got in the room yet. All right, let's go. Okay, come on, Cody. Let's go into the room there. He's a little bit nervous, but uh, I think it's more nerves about what he's going to find inside the joint. Okay, Cody, you're doing really well. Just keep holding nice and still for me. I know how he feels. I went for an MRI this time last year and had an operation done on my knee just to get out a lot of debris. But I'm all good now, and that's where we want to get Cody to be able to get back on board his exercise, lose more weight, and get back into a good lifestyle. While the staff in the MRI suite make every effort to keep Cody calm and reassured, it's a claustrophobic, impersonal environment. Cody would rather be anywhere else, but he needs to find out the truth. Can you feel yourself moving at all? Uh, quite a few touches. Kwarangona a Cody Stock i te kino. Cody Stock has been to hell and back with his physical and mental health. But he's well on the path home with a good fitness regime and professional dietary advice. Now an MRI scan is going to reveal if the root of all of his problems, te farakohukihuki kitona pona, an unresolved knee injury, can finally be addressed. Okay, Cody, well done, mate. Thank you. You're done well. All we'll have to do is wait until they go before the specialist. Yeah and get the diagnosis, and we can go from there. Cool. Good stuff. The following day at Ascot Hospital, so orthopaedic surgeon and knee specialist yeah. Mark Clatworthy has the results ready. Kearato Nahua. Well, today's the big day. Yeah, hopefully it's not the surgery, because to be honest, I don't want to be out for too long. Feeling a little bit nervous, although the kids look a bit more nervous than I am. <laughs> Fingers crossed and hope we get good, good news. Hey, Cody. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Nice to meet you. I'm going to take a seat. 
what we found is you dislocated your kneecap 10 years ago. You've had numerous episodes of dislocation since. There's been some long-term damage from that, but not too bad. Cool. Uh, what we need to think about today is do we need to do anything to make it more stable for you? And what you told me is that since you've been doing these rehab exercises, it feels a lot stronger and more stable. Yeah. So my feeling is we should, for the meantime, at least leave it alone, yeah. work on this rehab program, get your muscles really strong. Because if you can avoid surgery, that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Thank you. We'll keep up the good work, doing really well. Thank you. And Thank we'll you. see you back in a few months' time. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kapahure to Wiki Kotahi. But one week later at Cody's scheduled Mount Eden fitness test, Buck is worried as Cody is off the reservation yet again. Well, I've been waiting here for the last half an hour. We've got a no show. Young Cody hasn't turned up again. Cody, wherever you are, I'm coming to find you, man. He's really fallen off the walk of this boy. You know, one of the things that Cody did say there was that living here was quite depressing, and so maybe he's gone to find a new place somewhere. He's always moved into a place already. We just don't know. So um, we can only wait and see. But there is Hewahi Atu Ano, one other place Cody might be found. Could it be the gentle giant is simply keeping his head down at the gym? Hey, um, we're looking for Cody Stock. Oh, Cody, yep, yeah. he's been uh, coming in in the mornings and training for a few of those mates. The next time you see him in here, tell him we're trying to contact him, tell him to give me a call. Yep, no problem. ASAP. Will do. Kakimi haere tonu a buck. Buck keeps looking, hoping this lunch bar has some clues as to Cody's disappearance. Well, this is where uh, Cody's wife did work, but she doesn't work here any longer. And uh, the lady behind the counter believes that they might have moved somewhere new. And so, what more can we do? We can't contact him, we can't find him. So, it's just up to him to try and contact us. Maybe Cody is beyond Buck's help. So he turns to his old rugby mate, John Kerwin, for some advice. Hello. Morning there, JK. Uh, how are you? Hey, Buck. How are you You all good? Yeah, I'm good, though. thank you. Thanks for taking my call. I know you're busy, but I uh, just want to have a talk about this young boy, Cody. He, he's told us that he's got a bit of depression, but he goes missing all the time, and he doesn't turn up. We won't re respond to his phone calls and things like that. We're actually thinking of dropping him out of the program. I think you've got to think to the reasons why. Yeah. Because um, there'll, be, there'll, be there'll be an emotional reason why he's not turning up. I think dropping him out of the program would be a tough one, because if, if he's depressed, he'll need hope reason that he won't be turning up is he'll be having self-esteem problems so if I was you I'd, I'd try and bring him to it emotionally he probably, yeah. he probably feels really bad about letting you down and that sort of stuff it would be tough for him to turn up you know so not... yeah well thanks very much for that information uh what we'll do is uh we'll actually go back to him get into someone who'll understand his background and, and everything cheers mate thank you thanks, all the best mate. Bye. 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 After finally catching up with Cody, Buck is thrilled to discover Cody has been working away the whole time. He to a hangata a Cody. Cody is a dark horse, all right. He's joined a whānau based fitness program, Kate Marai Metona Hoa a Were, at the local Marai with his good mate Were. And the good news keeps coming with Cody and the kids joining a local karate group. Don't forget your kicks. A few days later, ko Cody ke ke te fai fai i a buck. It's Cody who's trying to track down Buck. He's had a breakthrough on the accommodation front. All right, got the keys? Sorted. Happy with that? Very happy. Another notch on the buck. Well, congratulations, new home, and uh, be good for the missus and the kids, eh? Yep. With the family now settled, the sky's the limit. Thanks, King. Thank you. Healthy dinners are standard in the stock household. And what's that in the background? A water cooler. I like salad. Yeah, families come together. Education's moving forward. I have um, long distance goals now, instead of just, you know, living week to week, paycheck after paycheck. Mana wa titi ana u, kia tutuki i te kaupapa. Ua hipa te hia marama, e hapai ana i te kaupapa. Ki au nei, kua tino angitu a Cody i roto i tāna whai ki a rereke tona ao. Nō reira, ki a āta tirohia, mena i whai hua ia i tāna hotaka. OK, Cody, we're ready to go. I'm just letting you know it's going to get hard, towards very hard at the end. We're going to push you a bit. 
Uh, you're good to go? Let's go. I think it's really important for me to do well today so I can see where I've improved, where improvements need to be made. If I can get my fitness moving forward, I know I've overcome my first obstacles, which were shoulders and knees. You're going to feel some pain now, Cody. We've got this stage and then one more. Because I've strengthened those problems I've had, then my hold or, or my fitness will, you know, slowly progress and get better. 40 seconds. This wall here. Let's go. Push, 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 push. Keep it up. Keep the legs going. OK. Awesome. 168. Nice work. Keep cycling, keep cycling. I'll bring the load down. Don't you worry. Cody's had some significant personal issues to sort out. He's on his way to having done that, so he gets an A for that. For getting on and doing some workouts and getting his fitness sorted out, he gets an A for that. We still need to get that weight down, especially around the tummy. For a man of his age, he can do better, um, and he's going to do better. Like when I said, still stuff to work on, but yeah, step by step, I guess. From all of this, you know, working on a healthy lifestyle for not only myself, but my family, yeah. you know, I've decided to enrol at AUT and do my Bachelor of Sports and Recreation. Might see you around, I guess. All right, well, I'm looking forward to that. I'll see you in class. Cool. <laughs> With the test results in, Kariro Ma Lance are buck e Fakamohio Atu. Lance briefs buck, with an observation both men suspected from day one. But focus is Cody's big issue, and if he doesn't sort that out, he's going to be problems for him going forward with his health. He's lost a bit of weight, which I've seen. I've seen him lose the weight, and uh, he's really very you know, positive when, when you're with him. But it's what happens when, you're, when he's by himself. And so if he can actually stay on top of these sort of things, he should be sweet. You know, he should uh, make, it, uh, make it through. It's finally time to say hi to So Buck has brought Cody full circle back to close the program, met the tuku hoki iaia, and see him go his own way. You know, when I first met you, you were down in the doldrums. Yep. Uh, very much a depressed young man. You have diffused the death threat. The waidu in your home life now is, is happier. By having a happier household, you know, gives me more time to go out and, you know, work on some of the things like my knee. Managed to set new goals, you know, once we got our new photo, and you know, they're still adding to them. Yeah. It's their, their little goals, but yeah. it's like I said, it's, it's closer to their light at the end of the tunnel. Mm. E mihi ana mato ki ngā whānau i tautoko mai i tēnei mahi. Noho oro mai koutou. He mea tautoko na te manga. If you put your mind to it,